maybe. Maybe they won't. But if you hit me, don't blast me. Place the child. If they find the farm, they'll burn it. Missy. Help me, Charles. Wat een orde, wat is er weer terug? Ze is plaatsen vandaag. Als we nu beginnen samen staan, dan gaan we ze allemaal eens plaatsen voor bus. Right, we're going to be here forever. Ignore this farm here. We know about that one. I want you to have a look at this one on the other side of the hill. My men are tired, sir. I want you to impress on these people that if they cooperate with us about these secret food supplies, we will leave them in peace. Sir, what if they don't? Sorry, sir. Coming on your mind? Yes, sir. I don't think they know about any secret food stores. It's unpleasant business, I know, but we have to do it. Yes, sir. And didn't Lord Kitchener say we should only destroy boar farms for acts of treachery? Damn it, man! It's not my idea to fight the war this way. Every boar woman and every boar child is a potential link in this food chain. Every boar farm becomes a boar outpost when they come down from the mountains. This war could go on forever. These are the acts of irresponsible gorillas. Irresponsible? The farms are all they've got. They know that if they don't say anything, they'll be destroyed, and we are destroying them, one after the other. So, surely they're fighting for the things they've got and want to keep. Another thing, Harry. I'm not happy with the way you're handling your troops. These men are the dregs of the Empire. They're hiding in the army. They're not best orderlies from Sandhurst. You have to pull them together. Mr. Patterson! Sir! Touching Sergeant Major Patterson to you for a few weeks. He should help you pull them together. He was with me in India. You treat him right, and you'll learn a lot. Yes, sir. Maria? Around in circles, Mr. Patterson. Looks like it, sir. Come here. There are two other farms in this area. Uh, yes, that is Yenung Play. Of course, Van Elt's farm. And uh, there across the river is Kranskop, which belongs to Budaploy. Well, that looks like the one we're after, sir, across the river. It couldn't have meant us to go so far. My men are exhausted, and the sun's going down. The men will survive, sir. The horses are exhausted. 
He must have meant this one. The Van Elst farm. With respect, sir. I observed the colonel to say the one across the river. That's quite enough, Sergeant Major. We will investigate this farm. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Fraser! Uh, Cut the fence! It is here, Ryan. What is it? That is common, Mrs. Yeah. My cat is prepared. I wouldn't hurt us. I'm English. Let's come to the land. Since when do you whimper like a puppy when people come to visit? <laughs> Van die Millis. Oh, wat zal gebeuren? Dat zal gebeuren niet. They've been this way before. Donna, get the silver candlesticks and the pictures of your father and brother. Silver candlesticks? Patterson, dismount the men, cover the house. All clear, sir. What is the meaning of this, Lieutenant? We are only women here. Good afternoon, ma'am. I apologize for this. The Swapolos, but the stretch is reached for Lord. Also, almost that was his new work. He knows the car crap of us Americans. My two brothers and my son are just as sneeuwel. That's what they believe. That was all about to come. The British sunk to this lieutenant, but they have to use scum to lead them on the path of destruction. As a belief, I say that for you, you're best of all. You must understand, as a belief. Thank you. That will be all, Mr. Dutoy. Anderson. Sama. I'm sorry, ma'am. I won't disturb you any further. I thought this was the Van Elst farm. She is, Mrs. Van Elst. Oh, I, I didn't realize that... That an English woman would marry one of the enemy? No, I didn't mean that. Yama, yeah, The Boers weren't always our enemy, Lieutenant. Until quite recently, we admired their pioneer spirit. We thought they were quite like ourselves. Fighters for freedom and civilization. The lieutenant must be thirsty, Sonna. Please make her some oh. coffee. I can only offer you beach coffee. I haven't had real coffee for months. <laughs> oh. 
What may I ask are you looking for this time? Well, there would appear to be a permanent, uh, a secret supply of food for the Boer commandos in this area. Really? In position, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Patterson. Excuse me, sir. With your permission. Ma'am, about this secret supply of food. If you'll just tell us where it's hidden, we'll deal with it and disturb you no further. We only have food for ourselves, nothing extra. If you're not prepared to divulge the whereabouts of said food store, we'll be obliged to search for it. And if we can't find it, we'll be further obliged to blow up your farmhouse, burn your fields, commandeer your livestock. We only have food for our own needs, nothing extra. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I have my orders. I told you. We hardly have enough for ourselves. All right. Carry on, please, Mr. Patterson. Yes. Very good, sir. You still have time to stop them. Provide yourself with what necessities you can carry. An old woman and two young girls. What power. You have 15 minutes, ma'am. after in the refugee camp. Concentration camps. We've heard of them. My daughter-in-law is seven months pregnant, Lieutenant. How do you expect her to survive? Lads! Sir? Just look for the stores, damn it. I don't want any looting or unnecessary destruction. Understood, sir? Please, Lieutenant. She can't travel now. A journey in a wagon might kill her. enemy territory. And don't you forget that. A surprise attack now on this entire troop would be wiped out. And all because of you miserable curs. We haven't eaten since last night, sir. What's your name? Archer. Archer who? Archer, sir. Archer. That's a name I won't forget. Get out the lot of you. Did you ever see anything like those peaches?
I'm sorry, ma'am. The supplies can't keep up, and I'm only going short on their daily rations. Neil's got into you! <laughs> Take it easy, Lanky. We almost had fresh eggs for dinner. Eggs. <laughs> Here comes the bride, how ain't she white? Come on, nice, look behind me! Get those cattle back to base and shoot that car! <laughs> Sappers, report as soon as you're ready. That's fine. <laughs> None of us like it, sir. Three women, Sergeant Major, that's all, and we're destroying everything they've got. The only way to finish the war is to start the war out. I will never do that while they can go to their own farms for food and comfort. Yes, I've also read the orders. All we have to do is our duty, eh, Mr. Patterson? That's about the size of it, sir. <laughs> Interested in your family heirlooms? Here. Don't touch that! Pig! Pig. Everybody out! On the double! Come on now, ladies. Come on now, Lassie. Lassie, move yourself. That's a good job. The old lady, Sergeant Major. She won't budge. Mom? Excuse me. Are you ready? Give her the doll, Archer. Just trying to help, sir. Give her the doll. Pleasure, sir. On charge. Be a pleasure, sir. Archer, she owes orders. Ten hundred!
I'm, I'm afraid we can't delay any longer. Do I want to be caught here after dark? Sergeant Travis! Sir! See the women to cover. Sir! This way, please, ladies. Come along, please. Hurry up, miss. This way, please. Let's get it over with, please, Mr. Patterson. Very good, sir. Snap into it, lads. Come along, ma'am. Come along, miss. Archer's got away with the girls, eh, boys? <laughs> you waggle your tongue anymore, will it? She'll bite it off. Just commenting on your style, Stan, that's all. Take cover! Let's get down, let's get down, down! Soldiers will take you to the camp. They'll give you food to eat. You won't have to worry about you. I'm asking the old missus. Dus nou die cellen vir ons allemaal kom. Maria! Maria! Tant Leni. So blij om dan te sien. Waar is al recht kom? Mevrouw, ek... Ik heb niet gedink, hulle zou jou ook neem, nee. Ik heb gedink, Maria zal veilig wees bij jou. Niemand is veilig, nee. Vrouw van Els, alsjeblieft vrouw die Engels op een behoorlijke slaapplek. Mijn baba kan niet hier blijven. Hulle zal voor u luisteren. Ja, misschien zal hulle luisteren als u vrouw. Wat are they saying, man? Vrouw van Els, zeg voor die Engels, maar ons zal hulle manieren leren. Mam. Het jullie niet genoeg gehad voor een dag niet. Maar waar is ons gaan, mevrouw van Elst? Daar is niks voor op ons plaats niet. Is there a problem, Mr. Patterson? You're not strong enough to catch our men. So now you make war on us women. Madam, we've no wish to hurt you. What we have done, we have done for your own safety. <laughs> our safety. Look. Look where your men have put us, right in the front. If fighting should start, it is us women who will get hurt first. You should have told your men the war is lost. Fighting's useless now. 
sooner or later your men will starve. And then it'll all be over. Do you think? After all... They will give in so easily. You can't destroy our passion for freedom. If we don't succeed this time, I tell you that as sure as night follows day, our children will start again. Madam, you don't understand. And you, young man, you can tell your Lord Kitchener that every blow he strikes against us women only makes our cause stronger. We're only a handful now, cry out for vengeance. Hundreds will come forward to be avenged. Come, Tom. This is fed out. Where are you going? I'll not go with her. You would shoot me now. And I'll not go to your concentration. But there's nothing left on your farm. No food, no shelter, nothing. My daughter-in-law is with child. We can look after you here. Proper rations, medical care. A young girl cannot give birth with children and soldiers watching. Excuse me, sir. A small confidential matter. <clears throat> if they want to stay behind, sir, they must have a very good reason. Oh, they'll be much safer in the camp. You know that, and I know that, sir. But if they want to stay, it must be because they know where that secret store is. So let them go. The boars will come back. We'll get the food and the boars. Well, she's British, Sergeant Major. Born British, sir. Married a boar. Well, at least they won't starve. No, sir. I'm sure they won't. Let them through! Oh well. Good night, Mr. Patterson. Good night, sir. This Van der Merwe, sir, is like our Smith, the most common name among the Boers, and he's always got an answer. You're not going in like that, are you, sir? There's no time to change. You can grab a bit of a wash here, sir. Tucking into a hearty meal of bully beef, iron ration, and chocolates, compliments of Queen Victoria. He tells Van der Merwe that the British soldier is always looked after. Wherever he goes, a supply column is hard on his heels. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing Van der Merwe replies. We Boers know this country so well that if the worst came to the worst, we could eat the leaves off the trees or even the grass. A young Mr. Atkins is a wee bit dubious. And what, sir, did you buy ammunition? Oh, that's easy, man. If you eat grass, you soon start shitting bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry, anything? No, sir, nothing. Mr. Wiggum also thinks the Boers can fight without supplies, eh? <laughs> but I may have found a way to trap the Boers, sir. Oh, well, good. You tell me, and I'll tell the general. <laughs> <laughs> When we brought the women back to the camp, Mrs. Van Elst was so intent on returning that I let her go. Who? Mrs. Van Elst. She hurt? No, sir, she's all right. Her farm was completely destroyed. Destroyed? Yes, sir, so surely the only reason she wants to go back is because she knows where to find the stores. If she knew anything about the stores, she would never have let you destroy the farm. Well, I just... Don't you. interrupt! Well, how else could they survive? Told you to concentrate on the other farm. We know all about Mrs. Van Els. I'm sorry, sir. You... <coughs> I didn't register her name. Yeah, now all these women will go out and get themselves killed, and we'll be blamed for not protecting innocent civilians. There's a small supply column making its way to General French. It's traveling through safe country west of here. I want you and your troop to go and meet up with it. All you've got to do is keep yourself and your troop out of mischief. Heaven help you if anything happens to that column.
I thought the woman would lead us to the boars. That's all. Oh, that dawn, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Farmhouses mistakenly destroyed with the best intentions. One more isn't going to make any difference. This, this is from Else. Huh? She's my sister. So I said, I didn't realize. Yeah, I came out here about 25 years ago to join her husband. Never thought this war was going to break out. A decent chap, too. Killed? Prisoner of war. Does she know you're here, sir? No, of course not. How could she? That's a lot. Nothing. You were wrong, Ma. We should have stayed with the others. The Frappotator would have taken care of us. Why did you make us come back? We don't even have a place to sleep. Well, as you'll have to sleep without your lace pillow, Marie. The Boers would never have done this. Bring it, Duncan.
Don't stay here, I'll get you out. Okay. You'll be safe. Don't worry, I can do it. I'm in command. She's fine. For what? She'd just be happier living in town. Sana, what's the course? It is better. Hundreds. Food safe. What did you expect, Hank? Palace? It's drawing through, and it doesn't move. To us, that's a palace. Well, don't worry, Louis. Sana can mend your trousers for you. Well, come on, take them off. Ma! <laughs> yeah, come on, Louis. Now? Yes, what are you waiting for? Take them off. <clears throat> I'm 
going to get water. <laughs> Pink! <laughs> Sonna, wait. Sonna. <laughs> Sonna. 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 It isn't a good idea to go off alone. You think I'm just a child? You are, when you sulk like this. You didn't think that this morning when I brought you food, then it was all right to go off alone. No, that's true. So why am I a child now? Son of... Yeah. <laughs> It's just that this isn't the safest place right now. No place is safe in a war. Don't be smart with me, young lady. I'm old enough to be your father. Well, it isn't. You could have gone to the British camps. Then we wouldn't have had to worry about you. Ma wanted to come back so that you would all have food. If only she knew how ungrateful you'd be. Oh, no, Sonna, we're not being ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> The big soldier. <laughs> soldier. If we carry on like this, son, I will either all be dead or our spirits broken. Think don't. You're fighting for our freedom. <laughs> freedom? Out of the mouths of babes. Hank. If we would band together, we could hurt them. And if I don't, we can't agree with one another to do it. Well, what's the point? To starve or hide in the mountains like fugitives. Pretend to ourselves that we're fighting a war. Hank, please, don't talk like this. We'll stand with you whatever happens. You? Yeah, me and Ma and all the women. You're living like tramps in a dirty old barn. It's you, the women, who are facing the worst of it. But we want to help. And I know that your wife and boys would... Erika. She died, Sonna. But I, I, th I thought she was in the camps. My boys died of typhoid. Erika was half starving already. I don't think she had anything else to live for. Oh, Hank. Why didn't you tell us? Sorry. Sonna, please, I said I'm sorry. I've managed so far to push it away, but you... Well, damn it, I'm sorry. Hank! You gave me such a fright. I know, I'm sorry.
Come on. See the glow for miles. And only the girls wander far. Something wrong? Hank, you look tired. Well, I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, damn it, Hank. Why didn't you tell me? What? Sonna told me about Eric and the boys. I'm so sorry. This is not the right time for news like that. Maria, you must be ready. Will you be all right? I don't worry about us. You're tough. For an English woman. I'm not sure what I am anymore. But you, you take care of yourself. Me? Someone's got to live to tell the story of how a little band of farmers kept the might of the British Empire at bay. You'll be hungry later. So now. Bye. Bye. I've been here a long time. But you're just beginning. There's a quarter of a century between us. I don't care about that. You don't know what you care about. Not yet, Sona. You'll find someone. Young. With no scars on his soul. I do know what I care about. I'm not a child anymore. No, you're not a child. But what I started last night was stupid. Have patience. Go find someone. Now, not right. Hurry up, come on now. Not right. Grimshaw, Anderson. Move yourself. Archer. Did you forget to shave this morning? Must be the rain, sir. Does wonders for me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Archer, that'll do. That's enough. Is this yours? Yes, sir. It's filthy. Kills a bore every time I pull the trigger, sir. I tell you, are talking to a laugh at that. That's all right, Mr. Patterson. Clean the damn thing. Yes, sir. And take that smile off your face. Sorry, sir. Didn't even know it was there. Archer! You see that, Sergeant Major? Lieutenant Wickham struck me. Struck you? The officer was good enough to hand you your rifle and you walked head first right into it. <laughs> Let's move the men off, please, Mr. Patterson. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Right then. Lively. Let's get to those wagons before the war ends. Come on now, Mount Wright. Stow those punchers. Wrench your hands and get me. Oh, I feel like a fat old hippopotamus. <laughs> You're not listening. Maria. What's it like? With a man? It had white walls and rose bushes in the garden and... Maria, tell me. Men are so big and heavy. I wouldn't be able to breathe. I'm sure I wouldn't. Don't be silly. Of course you... Does Hank have anything to do with these questions? Sana? Yes. You didn't let him kiss you. Didn't ask. Did he do anything else? Put his arms around me. Oh, listen, Maria, I And don't... then? Nothing. We came back. Come on here! I am, but... Name and rank hand! 
Gunnery Sergeant Rutherford, sir. Are your senses, Sergeant? If we'd have been Boers, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Like a bloody garden party. Sir, I understood this was safe country, so no Boers for hundreds of miles around. Ink. Alessi. Hmm? Let's wait. Next. Rupala. Lekker je eens bekommerd nu. Ink? Ja. Ja, daar is meer bang voor, zeg. Come on, Bill, we're all so hungry. You know the rule, Sojo. Only one Dixie per man. Only one's for me, the other one's for staff. Yeah, that, boys? Archer's got himself another pretty boy. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? Well, Stan had a special friend inside, or didn't they tell you about young Victor Slade? All he told me was to get his food, and that's what I'm doing. Ralph! <laughs> <laughs> no dancing, mate. We're not licensed. <laughs> Thank you, Bentley. You can go and eat now. Thank you, sir. Come from they feed this kind of swill to pigs. Hey, Willis, you eat this. See if it's fit for pigs. Careful, Stan. I'm not Victor Slade. I said, is it fit for pigs? <laughs> Keep your trap shut, will it? It's time you boys heard about the fast one. Stan pulled on Victor Slade, they were in. enough. Well, well, well. I wonder what this is all about. Will it? It was nothing, sir. Lost your tongue. No, sir. Me and Archer just... He didn't want his food, sir. Is that so, what? Just a bit of fun, Sergeant Major. Fun? Nothing serious, sir. Come and bite my ear, Archer. Beg pardon, Sergeant Major. I said, come and bite my ear. I like a bit of passion when I'm being stuffed about. <laughs> useless curs. Report to me in five minutes. Packs and blankets. You too, Mr. Watts. But Sergeant Major, I didn't do... The double! Lift! 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 Right! I think I'll tell you to listen. Can you see him? Private Archer. Private Watts. Private Willits. Stupid, slovenly soldiers. Private Archer, repeat after me. My bayonet is for use only upon the enemy, sir. My bayonet is for use only upon the enemy, sir. Repeat that! 
My banner is for use only upon the enemy. Sha! See that you remember that. Right then. As of now, this little incident is over, forgotten, done with. But I don't like filthy uniforms. I want to see you first light tomorrow. Spick and span, in uniform. Rifles gleaming, boots shining. Understood? Sir. Sir. Right. Dismiss. Double away, blast you! My bane is only for use against the enemy, will it? Van Afrika is alleen. Je zit voor een bank. En ik snuw ook niet bang. Dat is te genoemd. Misschien tien rondes af. Wie te kie is ek? David met sy slingervel in de wit loopie. Als jy hulle van de berg slo, kom gaan jy hulle nie alleen met hulle bekleid. Ik zit hier wel een mooi wel. Hey, kom eens geven van onze munitie. Dan kan ons tenminste dekken geven. Maar hoe kom? Hoe kom het zo so groot mag gaan? Ons het niet ammunitie nie. En ons het meer paren nodig. Nou, of ons gaan het bij de Engelse afvat, of ons rijden die naast de dorp, soos twee kinderkies en hengs op. Wat zie jij? Als het dat twee perren worden. Eén ammunitie. Ons kan de dekken geven als ons nog zo'n paar rond is. Ons is elke keer zes of zeven rond is. Ons zien de helft. Dan gaan ze met drie rond is elke. Get us all killed. 
Jag mig för snett om det. Speak English, damn it. Sorry. Vi ser mig nu. Please wake up. It's a Sergeant Major's inspection. I'll inspect his rectum with me boot. Last one. Hey, Stan. Wait. Where'd you put the rifle? I didn't touch them, Stan. Why should I? Well, if you didn't, who did? I don't know. Sergeant Major, perhaps. Don't be bloody stupid. What would he do a thing like that for? Well, you know what he's like, Stan. Maybe he's testing us. Look, fishy's going up, Stan. I still think the Sergeant Major took him to see what we would do. Ah, I can smell it. There's something fishy going on. What's fishy, Stan? What was that? What? I didn't hear anything. Stan, shouldn't I go and tell the Sergeant Major? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. It's not just our rifles. Go and get one to my Wickham. I'll get past him. Are you mad? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Is it just to use this ornament, or do you have ammunition for it? Of course, sir. Boys, in the camp!
brave bastards, I'll give them that. Patterson, I will not shoot them down in cold blood. Besides, they've heard it. Bugler! Stop! Get down, you young... Sir! Sir Major! <coughs> oh, treacherous poor bastards. Sir? Bastards! up until we got every single one of them. Then, and only then, will this bloody war leave us forever. Now let's move out.
Come, sir. The horses are tired, sir. I'm well aware of that, Sergeant. Thank you. Don't you think we should rest them up, sir? All right, then. I'll take two men, see who I can find. Archer! What? How would it be? Excuse me, sir, but do you think it's wise going off alone? The boys are still in the area. Exactly, Sergeant. Best of school dances. <laughs> You've never been to one, have you, Sonna? Come on, it's lovely, Maria. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, weeks before the boys would come and, uh, and sit after school. Oh. It was such fun waiting to see who would ask first. The last year, it was Henry Yonker. He was such an old moon, always slouching around and looking at me with his great big puppy eyes. I just told him I was going with somebody else. Do you know what he said? <laughs> he said, oh, well, in that case, I won't go at all. <laughs> you talk such nonsense, Maria. Oh, well, in that case, I won't go at all. <laughs> Somehow, what are you doing? Swimming. Me? Yeah. Charles and me always used to swim here. Charles? You didn't. He didn't care. Once I was swimming, all his friends came and swam too. Didn't you mind? I didn't have anything to show then. <laughs> Come on, don't be a sissy. They can't have gone far. At least one of them is wounded. All right. Cover me. born yet. Be weeks, even months. I wonder where you found this. And this? You've made a real fool out of me. So little, are we? All right, then I'll stop out. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Where's your dog now, eh? <laughs> Try 
fried meat, maize, salt, peaches, even jars of jam. And I suppose it just materialized out of thin air. And I suppose no one's been here either. Yeah. Hell, you're pig-headed. Very well. All three of you will be taken back to camp. If there is any food, then sooner or later the balls will return. But I'll make sure we're here to meet them. funny about a court-martial. A baby. A baby. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> we weren't gonna hurt her, sir. I give you my word, ma'am, that these men will be severely punished. Your word? Never again will I trust the word of an Englishman. <laughs> Come, children. Let's leave these animals to eat each other. Don't think she likes you, sir. It'll give me great pleasure to put a bullet through your skull. Just give me an excuse. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll leave that pleasure to the guards. Sorry, sir. I thought you wanted to get back to the others before dark. Could we move along, please, gentlemen? Sun's gone, sir. It'll be dark soon. Hadn't we better get on back stay to the others? Stay together! I said stay together! Sorry, sir. I thought you wanted to get back to the camp before dark Why so we could go after the boy, sir. Shut up! the sound of your voice! Oh. Ah. Two now, Stan. Him and Victor Slade. Where are you going? any dried fruit or meat left. Sana, you can't still be hungry. I just want something to chew. Come to bed and we'll get you something in the morning. Couldn't I go and get something quickly? Sana, don't be silly. I wouldn't be long. Please. All right. But be quick. Oh, thanks, Ma. <laughs>
I'm afraid I've had to shoot my two men. You might have heard the shots. And I've lost my way. But it's the officer, Mr. Maria. All I need for the night is a little food and... And the little girl! Give us the girl, Granny! Yeah, Grandma. <laughs> you can keep the pregnant one for yourself. <laughs> 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 hey, Grandma! What are you waiting for? You meant to come home. <laughs> Bloody idiots tried to attack us this morning. <laughs> Big blonde one, in his Sunday best, tried to get away. <laughs> Ran straight onto my bayonet. Oh. You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> I made the whole witch a turn! Hey, Lanky. You'll never guess what I can see in here. I'm gonna see it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, a pretty one. She's not here. They must be hiding her somewhere. Stand up. Sure. 
going, Sergeant. More, sir. Oddly enough, no. We've still got to find them. I suggest we move out as quickly as we can. Oh, yes, sir. Good morning, ma'am. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. <sighs> Goodbye, Lieutenant. I can't wish you luck in your duty. But I wish you well. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye, Miss. Santa. Sir. Archer. Let's move the men out, please. Yes, sir. Let's move out. Well, what did he say? Nothing, really. Sonna? He just said he was sorry about the house. Please forgive him. Is that all? Elsa said that if he comes through all this, I'd like to come back and build it up again. <laughs>